Hey guys, this is Cool Kid here, and uh, we're doing just a you know regular Attack on Time review, chapter uh, 131. You know, the usual. You know, baby. Hopefully this time, uh, Ava or Flareon won't fall down, right, Flareon? Well, I mean, uh, don't don't blame me. I mean, it's actually actually kind of makes sense if you've read this chapter, so, uh, away, Ava. So, uh, I guess we'll start with the chapter, which kind of uh, started a little bit weird when I first read I was like, wait, hey, what? But, um, uh, it all makes sense as you, as, as you go on. So, we got these, I guess, two kids, uh, uh, they're basically, you know, just uh, a bunch of refugees on Eldia. Uh, I think their names are Hall and Ramses. I'll, I'll just call them the kids, so it'll, it'll be easier for me. So, um, uh, let's see. So, the chapter starts basically with uh, one of the kids telling the other kid, like, okay, you're the only one who knows about this one hiding place. All, all the money that I steal from um, the, the merchants, I, I keep in this bag hidden and when the the bag is full I'll, I'll make sure that everyone here will have a, definitely a, a good place to live and the other kids like well I don't know about that since if you keep stealing one day one of the merchants might just uh, you know cut off your hand and you know you, you really shouldn't do anything to make uh, Grandpa, worry about you anymore. Uh, let's see. The other kid's like, well, someone has to do something uh, with that, you know, worn out tent. We, we, we ha have to leave. Like, people die, like, every year during the winter. It's, it's the only chance in, uh, if in any case, that I die. I want you to uh, distribute this money with everyone else and uh, the kids. You know, it's, I guess, just a bunch of uh, civilians. And he's like, oh, shit, uh, we, we need to hide this. And then they start noticing, like, wait a minute. They, the townspeople, they're running away. I, I wonder why. And they're like, the ground is... And you know, as the ground shake, and they're like, the ground is crying. And then, uh, you know, we get the, I guess, you know, uh, title of the chapter, which I don't really talk about those in my reviews, but I thought, yeah, why not? I'll, ta I'll, I'll talk about it. Chapter 131 The Rumbling. And we got like the shot of, you know, the kids on, I guess, top of this field and you know trees then we see the town the harbor and just a big wave of smoke so uh after this the the basically goes into i guess a little mini flashback with aaron so uh yeah uh, so yeah basically starts with him being like well i personally don't know how long this will take but all the people here they will be massacred one day, everyone here that I see will be dead. I'm me. And uh, he, he continues on being like, well, I've decided that, uh, you know, for paradise to survive, uh, everyone here uh, will be lost. The house, the animals, the people, uh, their lives, uh, the, it'll be all gone. And, and he notices uh, to the, I guess, peek of his eye that there's a pregnant woman. Oh, yay, yay, Aaron. Um, yeah, 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 you still feel uh, good about that. And he's like, well, Mom, what would you think uh, about that? And um, I would, I, I mean, I, I personally probably would think, uh, you know, his, his mom wouldn't, agree with that but but hey I've been you know a lot has happened since what, what was it there was the, the six to I think 
eight year time skip between like chapter one and then you know them training up and then the two year time skip so that that's what like eight or ten year difference but uh yeah he notices i guess in the, the corner of his eye down alleyway uh, basically just a you know refugee boy again uh, is you know getting the leaving shit be out of him by i guess some merchants or whatever and is that the boy that we saw earlier in the chapter yes it is and he's like wait a minute that boy i saw my uh future memory of him ooh but uh he's like well maybe i should do something about it and like uh you know, the merchant assholes are like, oh, this kid's just a refugee, and uh, he's nothing more than just a, a pickpocketer. Uh, don't worry about it, man. You should just get lost. And um, Aaron's just thinking like, uh, yeah, why, why am I really even thinking? I'm going to eventually kill that boy, so why should it even matter? And, um, we even see a shot of him just like uh, walking away, but then on the next page we see him just uh, carrying him back to the refugee camp, and you know uh, that's just probably because you know he, he walked out and he waited for you know them to stop being up on him, and he you know carried him uh, back. The the boy's like, oh, thank you, and uh, he goes on and well, the, the future can't change, can't change now. And then, you know, he, he goes to the boy, he, he apologizes to him, like, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, like, the kids, like, literally, like, uh, what, why, why, why are you crying? And then back to uh, present timeline with, uh, you know, the kid, they're like, hey, come on, man, you need to hurry up. And they see the... Uh, basically, the giant wall time stopping down the t town, and uh, then it goes to uh, yeah, yeah, it goes into the kid, and he, he sees the wall time, which, um, you know, on this page, how it's presented, it's like the kid, then the wall time, and the kid, a closer up view with the wall time, which, um, I, I don't know if it if that's what it is supposed to be, but it almost looks like they have. No why eyes. I, I I mean like even you know, basically the, the colossal titan, they have eyes and these wall titans, they're they're basically colossal titans but uh, shorter so <sighs> I mean man, that's not really an important detail. I mean they all need to know to see just need to know to um stomp but and we just get like a I guess shit some of the uh, refugees, they're like, oh, come on guys, we, just, we gotta run, no, we gotta go somewhere up higher, like uh, uh, the mountain, like, let's go up there. And uh, one of them's like, no, that's not good. And, we, and just the uh, Waltons basically jump the mountain, no problem. And they're like, oh Jesus, there, there's even Titans on, on the mountain. God, there, there's nowhere else to run. What do we do? Is there nothing but left to die? Did they just leave us here to die? So yeah, you know, uh, you, you know, just the refugees uh, panicking, and uh, one of the boys is like, "Well, are, are we going to just be crushed?" And the other one's like, "No, we cannot give up." And uh, then we. Uh, go, I guess, back to him. Not, not really. It's like kind of dispersions between him and then we go present in him. So, um, he goes on. He's like, well, to save the island, the islands, no, not just uh, that. What was really behind the walls was completely different from what I dreamed of. But while that was happening, uh, when uh, the kid who was carrying the money, uh, he, he dropped it, and then, uh, let's see, next page it goes with them. They, they stop to pick up the money, and they notice, you know, basically these giant wall tines just a couple of feet away from them. 
and like uh, freaking them destroying, uh, just d destroying buildings down, and uh, yeah, one of the wall times, uh, you know, destroys building, uh, rubble comes uh, down, and uh, while that's happening, Karen's like, he goes into his you know little flashback. The book that I saw from Armin's book was completely different to what I saw. So when I learned uh, humanity outside the walls, I was disappointed. And then we go to uh, the, the the kids who you know got you know a little damaged by the uh, you know the, the rubble. All they did was uh, literally uh, destroy uh, one of the kids' leg and the other one, like, if I were to describe it, like, dude, he, he got, like, part of his head, like, uh, smushed off. Like, uh, like, okay, you see how, like, oh, like, above my head, like, that's, that's literally all it's missing from the kid. And then, you know, the next shot is just, one of the wall times feet is about to smash the kid and one of the uh last things the kid sees before you know getting squished is Yamir. And I, I definitely think that is interesting because with Yamir, I mean I don't know if this kid was supposed to play some kind of importance or, or something. I don't know. I mean with definitely a shot that makes me feel you know, y Ymir is not exactly out of the story as I thought, because, um, you know, I, I thought she she was just going to appear for, you know, the whole thing and Aaron to trust her or whatever, but, you know, th there might actually be some of the points uh, with that, and yeah, basically, uh, you know, the kid gets squished and freaking God, like, like we see this next shot where it's just um just just a, a big smush splat of just blood and then it zooms out for uh you know the waltane's footprint and it's like it's just a tiny it, it's just a, a tiny little circle in this giant footprint and uh, i guess we continue with uh you know, the wall times, they're, they're destroying a bunch of buildings, and it uh, looks like the refugees are at the gate. They're trying to open it, but nothing they can do, and, you know, they, they ultimately get just smushed. And uh, then we get this shot, I guess, from, like, we see, you know, the wall times from the back, but, you know, everything before them is just completely destroyed, desolate, nothing but time. Footprints. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there, there's like a, like a entrance way to a house. Like there's the door and just like a couple bricks around the door that's left. That's that's so weird. Huh. I mean, but uh, I doubt that anyone would have survived that. But yeah, it's completely desolate and destroyed. Nothing from footprints and okay, hey guys, it's a, it's another view through Aaron's. Uh, you know, I guess. God, it's a goddamn uh, dinosaur freaking what the hell I don't understand. I'm still doing that phrase, but uh, from the way it looks, yeah, I we, we do actually see where it ends, and I uh, don't know, man. actually, wait, uh, I'm looking at this, dude, the thing, wait, I think the thing is still in water, because, well, I can't tell what the smoke, but I think that the uh, Aaron's goddamn giant dinosaur titan thing is in the water, but all the wild titans are, you know, on land, so uh, maybe it's just the, the smell confusing me. But uh, then we go, you know, to, I guess, a little, not their Aaron flashback, but, um, you know, from season one where uh, Aaron gets that flashback of uh, Armin telling him, Oh, I got this book, and it, it tells about the outside world, the, the burning water, the land made of ice, the, the, the snowy plains of sand. There's so much uh, to the outside world. And 
We got we we got young Aaron. I guess I don't know. Looking into the sky, well, people are getting are basically dying just opposed to you know, Aaron looking up. And he's like those those who have seen it, those who must be in all of the world, the most free. This is freedom. And we just get this. I I all know this weird why. Oh, oh wait, yeah, it's a it's a full page spread of just Aaron from the way it looks into the the sky, just being like freedom. And also just opposed to which I I have mentioned, uh, you know, people dying. Yeah, God, I I, I know right now the other guy is probably going to come in. Probably say something stupid to ruin this scene. I wonder is the reason why we're seeing you know the younger him uh, opposed to this you know destruction? Could it be because you know at the beginning of the, the series he you know saw what he did and he cried because of that? That could be a possibility. Oh, um, actually, yeah, yeah, that that is a good question because. Yeah, you know, it's this scene's just opposed to you know, young Aaron with uh, you know his uh, oh freedom, and then um, of the buildings and people uh, dying. So the good question is, you know, when Aaron the gay in the series when he was crying, was he crying because you know he saw the future and you know what his destruction devastation could have done, and uh. You know, I mean, man, that that's the question because I don't think it was ever the the time's powers were ever revealed like this. But you know, that that implies the a uh, time ability, especially the attack time. You, even even before you obtain the the you know a time abilities, you naturally have the, the time abilities somehow. Like, okay, that that really doesn't make sense I, I don't I, how okay okay yeah yeah because that would imply that you you know it doesn't ma it, it, you've always had these abilities I don't know maybe I'm asking too many questions of you know does your Titan abilities you know are, are they given do you just always have them since they were you know destined to give to you or some stupid shit like that but to uh, yeah back to Aaron is saying, oh, it's a young Aaron being like, I finally reach it. This Siri, Siri, hey Armin. And then we go to the paths with just um, young Aaron and, and like, you know, modern day adult Armin. Yeah, it's, you know, in the past. And he says, Aaron. And uh, yeah, that, that, I don't know, that's a weird shot, but yeah. Then we go to, I guess, you know, on the ship, and and he's like, have your wounds healed? And, you know, uh, yeah, he's like, oh, uh, yeah, Annie. But, you know, that begs the question, uh, is that nothing, is that nothing more than, you know, Armin seeing Aaron in, like, a daydream, or did he just unconsciously gone into the paths and why would be Aaron there unless if what I said earlier about you know uh, in his past selves seeing the future is true huh okay whatever God, sorry I, I, I can't be confused with uh, you know future side timeline jargon but uh, you know uh, back on the, let's see, back on the, uh, ship with Armin and Annie. So, uh, basically, Annie's like, come on, sit, sit here with, with me. And, uh, Annie's like, well, I, I'm sorry that I haven't, uh, thanked you yet for, you know, all those years talking to me. So, so yeah, uh, she, she was, uh, yeah, yeah, because if you forgot, uh, she, she was conscience technically while she was in her you know crystallized uh, 
prison form thing, well, whatever, but she's like, well, thanks for talking about me. I, I honestly thought I would have gone crazy from that loneliness, but talking to you and Hitch were, you know, really only things that I looked for. And she's like, well, but why would you, ch why would you choose me uh, for a conversation partner? And Armin's like, well, that's well, because I, I, I wanted to, to see you. <gasps> oh my god, I mean, yeah, I, I know people are going to see Armin and he shippers in, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have my views at the end of the chapter review. But, uh, let's see, he continues, like, you really don't understand, even if. Oh, Hitch teases you that much? I don't get it. But, uh, and he's like, but really, what are we even doing at this point right now? You know, thousands, millions of people are just getting just crushed. And what, what are we even doing? What can we even do? And she's like, well, I, I get it with you since... You know, you're a good person. Why are you even talking to the, an enemy like myself? And uh, and uh, she continues saying, uh, "You're just running away from this conflict, are you?" And and you know, she gets up. Armin's like, "Come on, let just just sit, just sit down." And I've said this before, but I hate being called a good person and go and then he's like, well, you know, I've I've killed many people, not just soldiers, children's too. I, I even killed people that you know, I, I used to call my comrades and you know, I've became a monster a long time ago. Somewhere in my head I promised and he goes on about the promise with Aaron to journey into the outside world. We thought we would make that dream come true. And it's like, well, uh, the unknown world. That wasn't as you expected it. It wasn't. It, uh, he, uh, he's like, well, it is completely different from, from what I saw in the dreams. And, and uh, the chapter ends with him saying, I still don't... <sighs> Still, I, uh, my God, my bad talk. Still, that which we don't know. There must be definitely something out there beyond the walls. That's what I want to believe. And then, I guess on the last page, we get, uh, he, I, I don't know. I think it's a close up on Aaron inside the, uh, Titan body. Yeah, yeah, a close up on Aaron inside the, Titan body, and the chapter ends with continuing in October. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That means we're on a. Wait, is that a month long break? Yeah, that's a month long break. Ugh, a month long break. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapter ends and. Yeah, my fuck break. Okay, guys. Um, uh, I might not be, you know, the biggest fan of this, but I do understand why there's a month long break. Makes sense, you know. The uh, it's been going out in the outside world that probably is affecting this, and you know, I'm starting to think. Um, uh, I really actually thought that, you know, you know, Attack on Titan definitely going to get in 2020. But from, uh, if we get any more delays, I mean, I'm actually starting to think that, you know, Attack on Titan was going to go into 2021. And, you know, I, I even remember when, um, you know, Christmas was happening. I was like, well, this, I guess this is the only time whenever... 
you know, writing a review attack on time during, I guess, the holiday season. But, uh, hey guys, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll, hey guys, don't worry. Maybe Attack on Titan will be reviewing for three years on my channel. Because right now, well, it's only, well, technically, it's it's been like a, what, well, I don't know, like a year and a half at this point. Or, or somewhere between almost a year to a year and a half. But, uh, yeah, yeah, never mind how much I review Attack on Titan. Let's go into, I guess, the important detail that everyone wants to know about, uh, my thoughts on, I guess, Annie and, uh, <sighs> our men, which, um, yeah, I'm fine with. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, personally, I do think the series, you know, with uh, relationships, um, you know, they kind of, um, you know, it's, it's not one of those series where, you know, it, it's basically like a, oh my god, is it a will they? Won't they? Will they hook up at the end, or will they not? I mean, I mean, I guess in the like uh, recently that there might be hints of that, but I think whenever it happens to the end, um, you know, and it really actually even begs the question to ask: like our main, our last group of main characters, who's going to die? Is Armin going to die? Will Mikasa even still live? Uh, will Reiner and Henny even survive, and you know, I mean, I mean, yeah, that that begs all the questions. But yeah, you know, you shippers, I'm fine with it. I have no problems. But hey, at least, uh, I mean, uh, I personally don't care about this. But hey, for you, uh, Gabby haters, Gabby's not in this chapter at all. Wow! But, um, personally, I don't care. God, I really don't. I think the, the Gabby hates way overblown, but, um, yeah, I, I, I am, I am just, like, whenever, because I think the fourth season, it was announced as the final season, so, you know, they, they plan, they, they actually have planned to, you know, animate all this, you know, like, like, what was it, the anime was supposed to come out, what, this year during the uh, fall, I believe? So, yeah, within, like, a couple of months, originally, you know, it was supposed to come out, but, you know, obviously because of delays and shit, because of the real world. But, yeah, I mean, they must have had this stuff pre-planned, but, yeah, I have no idea how they would have handled literally the scene where... You know, we literally get to see a close-up view of the kid just getting smushed. It's just blood. Oh my god. I don't know how I would have handled this, but... Personally, I think this is a it's a really good chapter. Like, um, how last uh, chapter in Attack on Titan, it was basically... Uh, where did I describe this? Like, you know, last chapter, the... And, you know, it was basically Attack on Titan showing us, you know, how can our heroes win? There's literally nothing they can do. And this chapter is like, well, just seeing the destruction literally through just some random, uh, you know, innocent life. And, you know, it's heartbroken. It's destruction. And even Aaron earlier on realizing, well, you know, all these people will die, and, you know, I, I'm just, it, it's nothing, I, there's nothing I can do about it. I have to move forward with this, you know, ultimate death plan, and, you know, you know, I, I'm really just generally excited whenever Attack on Titan goes back, and it'll suck, because I don't have, like, what? Uh, there will be nothing next month, so I have to wait, what, two months for uh, another Attack on Titan chapter. Uh, I mean, I did that earlier in the year. I have to do it again. Uh, but hey, hey, for anyone in, anyone in 2021 seeing this and being like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, that was a weird time when we all thought, you know, 
Now that Attack of the Hound was going in 2020, man, watching 2021, man, 2020, man, that was a weird year, man. Thank God we don't have those problems. I can actually now go to an anime convention and, and waste, waste all my money and forget to pay rent. Yeah, whatever, but how it's really in for the chapter, uh, I, I don't know. You know, I'll be still doing One Piece, so I'll have to make a video to be like, well, instead of Attack of Titan, I'll review this, and, I mean, also there's Prime the Witch coming up, but, but hey, don't, don't worry about it, and, um, yeah, I guess this is the end of the video. Um, you know, I, I don't know whenever uh, the final chapter of Attack on Titan will come out, but I prematurely just decided from this point, well, whenever whenever the final chapter does come out, I will uh, I will do a live reaction. Uh, I don't usually do live reactions, but I've just decided. Okay, live reaction, final chapter for Attack on Time. I'll do it. So you know, when, whenever it's happening, I'll, I'll do it. and I'll make sure uh, you know whenever roughly I find out when it chapter comes out, I'll do a live stream and everything, but, you know, that, that'll be until probably the start of next year, unless if it comes earlier, then I'll have to worry about, but, but hey, we still got a little while, I'm sure, um, Tech and Titan's going to end in roughly before, uh, you know, 140, actually, 140 might actually be a good place for uh, this series to end, but yeah, you know, um, oh yeah, I forgot One Piece, uh, yes, I have read the latest chapter, I'll get to this as soon as, you know, that this video's done and uploaded, so yeah, you know, you guys have fun, and until, you know, whenever, we'll do Attack on the, let the, let the destruction of the rumbling continue. I think, I think I've ended it this good. You know, I, I like to say things more at the end, but I said what I said, and, uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Look at my Zero shirt. It's, uh, it's Zero, you know, from, from Mega Man X, whatever, who cares, let's just end this video, of course, say something stupid. Hey, blah, 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 blah.